We just head back to the octagon and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. This the spider! Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbert's with me alive. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course, a giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. <laughs> this clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. Sound great! Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrot fish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow! Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. Uh, and parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then. But we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey, so you'll have to keep up. Whoa! My first day is a trusty pirate sidekick, and I get to search for treasure! <laughs> Let's go, parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. This reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that? And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye, Mora eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah, oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure. How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? 
Moray eels like to eat parrotfish, but we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah! First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah! The eels can't see very well. And this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. can smell peso. Peso! This way. Quick, in there. Quasi, bubble block. It worked. They can't smell peso anymore. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if he was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on. We've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacle's out. Yeah. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! He looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful, it's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, oh, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Just a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter, and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso. Quasi. Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? Ah. <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark, while you look for the octonauts. Shellington. Have you seen Peso or Quasi? <laughs> Octonauts? Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? Uh, 
Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is. I think. <laughs> and they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals. We'll find it. Dashy, activate the octo compass finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is. <laughs> it's floating into the cove. Look. It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super, super! Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colours like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself. <laughs> Until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. Creepy Cove, Captain. But we do need to get my octo compass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gup. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. According to the map, the octo compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The octo compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks, and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. How do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude, you're the best. Let's go! Right this way. Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, you won't bump into things anymore. <coughs> Thanks. Okay, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles. Second, you need a bandage. <coughs> Whoa! Thanks. So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. Oh, OK. But do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain, I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage your nose. Oh, I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. Wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute, and then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh no, where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flappity flippers, he can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, 
There's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Right here. Aye, aye, cat. Ah, there he is. He's a fast one, that's for sure. He's heading that way. Watch out! Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg! Flappity flippers! Abandon ship, Peso! Where did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry, we just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Ha. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radio contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. What was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look! Quasi! I heard your orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, 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 oh dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We orcas will help you find them. Huh? Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. Peso, jump! Hang on! We've got to stay with the gum. Jump again. <laughs> This one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Ah! <laughs> Tag, you're it! <laughs> oh, my! There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers! You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Huh? 
Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? They love to play with each other. And make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose! <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose! Sponge nose, sponge nose! Hmm, <laughs> 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 there! <laughs> oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins! We have very important work to do. If you could please just play! <laughs> Bet you can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Uh, oh! Whoa! Uh, easy now! I just want to, um... See how long you can hold on! Hey! Whoa! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We Octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there.